what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel uh, it's been a while since we've posted a camper video but we're gonna work on one today so um i'm gonna turn here and explain to you what i'm gonna do so <clears throat> all right if you haven't watched any of our other camper videos this is our camper that we named loretta she is a 1996 leighton skyline 30 foot bumper pull which we remodeled the inside painted the exterior uh put the new awning on so <clears throat> We're just a few weeks away from heading down to the beach for a while. One thing about our campsite is this right here. We love to sit out here under the awning, drink our morning coffee, but this faces directly to the east. So when you're sitting under here in the morning, you're just baking for a little while. I mean, the sun just beats down on you. You can't enjoy it. So we're gonna run to the store, pick up a few supplies, come back and wrap this video. Should be a short one. Uh, let's show you the supply list it should be very short um, we've got our mesh tarp this blocks out sun rays um, picked up a few tent stakes show you what those are for here in a minute and i actually ordered these off amazon these are rv awning light hooks and i'll show you where they go here in a minute but uh I'll, there has been several videos well not, i don't know if there's several i've watched a few videos on doing sunshades and things like that but like i said in the mornings when you're sitting under here the sun is coming up and once it gets over the tree line across from us it just burns you up <clears throat> but the idea is is we're going to use this channel right here we'll put the rv light hangers in it and then we're going to attach that uh tarp to it and it should should work we're going to see uh, I did measure our awning when I put when I put the new awning on. When you order it, it shows 20 feet, but you do lose some length uh, just from the from the spacers here from the supports. So it's really about 19 the total length of the canopy. Unfortunately, the tarps only came in a 8 by 16 or an 8 by 20. 20 is too long, so which I don't think a couple of feet on each end will work, hurt us so we'll go with the 8 by 16s all right I, I have not opened the uh tarp yet but again these little hangers just slide in here let's do a couple in my pocket but once i uh once i get the tarp open i know how many i can put on there so i got the tarp out of the bag and the idea is you'll use i'll use these Little grommet holes, that's all along the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That are gonna clip in these little hangers and that's gonna keep the morning sun out from under the awning. All right, so there's Like I said, just went through, slid the little light hangers in here, put the hook on them, hook it in the grommets. Now, one thing you'll see is I've got a lot of excess right here for now, but I'm gonna take the awning up a little bit and then I'll show you what the plans for why I picked up the tent stakes that are over in the back of the truck. So I raised the awning up. It's at, I guess, maximum height right now. He said, I don't have as much leftover tarp on the ground. But one thing we didn't want to do is when we're under here, morning, night, whatever, um, just hanging out under the awning is to feel like we're in a room. We don't want to be claustrophobic. So I'll show you what the uh, plans are for the tent stakes. So just take the tent stakes. Pull the, uh, pull the uh, tarp out, get a couple of stakes in it. I just put one in the middle, one on each end. That does, it pulls it away from the can from the awning to give you a little more room. Now, one thing I had, I did not count for 
which might be a headache and I may have to figure out a fix for it is there's nothing in these tracks to keep it from sliding. So maybe by staking it down, that will help it. Um, but if not, we'll figure out some kind of little stopper in here to keep it from sliding together. So I guess now the true test will be to see how much that actually blocks. Again, it don't have to be block all of it. I don't want to be in the dark. We typically set our chairs up right in here of the table. Sit out here in the morning, drink our coffee. Maybe sit out here, read a book, whatever, before we go to the beach or the pool or whatever we're gonna do that day, so. But, um, pretty simple. And that's what it'll look like at the campsite. Again, it's not the, maybe not the fanciest thing, but functional is what I'm looking for. All right, short and sweet. I'll put links for everything in the description. Um, again, went to Harbor Freight, picked up the tarp, ordered the clips offline, the light hanging clips, but you can get those at Camping World or any RV place. put the links in the description what we got um, all in all I think I'm about $80 in if that much um, uh, I will say I'll probably end up changing the tent stakes um, I bought the cheapest ones that Walmart had just to make sure everything worked but again the soil up here in Northeast Alabama is a lot different than the sandy soil down at Anchors Away RV Resort in Foley, which there's a video out on that too. If you want a quick review, check out our page. But that's it. Should be short and sweet. Um, thanks for watching. Again, if you like the, this kind of video, uh, go to our channel, hit the, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, probably next time we see you, we'll be at the Gulf of Mexico. So catch up with you then. Thanks.